afternoon all. I wanted to do a response to uh, Brian's question about um, if for some reason we could only save five kits from our stash, what are the five that we would pick? Um, I actually played a little bit with it. I said I'll pick five but I'll grab another one as I'm running out the door so I was only able to narrow it down to six. Uh, my number one pick was very simple. I uh, didn't even have to think about it and uh, I'll show you that one last. Uh, but the other ones uh, took a took a little bit of thought. Um, surprisingly they all turned out to be automotive kits and um, kind of what I based it on more than anything was uh, I don't know if I would say the rarity of the kit but the difficulty that I had here in Canada trying to find these kits and the cost of what it would be to replace them so that was one of the main things that played into it um, so these first ones are in no particular order uh, like I said I'll leave my number one pick as the last one but um, just to get started so this is the first one I would take this uh, 250 Testarossa from Hasegawa uh, I think this kit is now out of production. Um, I have, as you can see through the window, I have the photo etch wheels for it. I also have the photo etch uh, detail set for this as well. So uh, that's one. Uh, the next one is this uh, Tamiya. Asked Martin uh, to glare at her DBS. Uh, as well, this has photo etch parts, and I believe that this is out of production as well, actually. So you can see here on the box, it comes with a small photo etch sprue. Uh, this Johan Superbird, Socks and Martin. Uh, I was looking for this kit for a long while at a reasonable price and even the price wasn't that reasonable but when you compare it to what people are asking uh, this one was relatively relatively priced or reasonably priced so that one uh, the other one's this Knight Rider this is the car version um, Kit wise, this is exactly the same as the Aoshima. This is a, well, you can't see it, but this is an Aoshima kit. Uh, this is exactly the same as the Aoshima uh, kit, kits, but this is the box as the car version, and it also comes with the orange scanner instead of the red one. Um, and again, this kit is, again, at least here in Canada, is a very difficult kit to find. You can find it at all. And of course, this uh, Road Warrior Interceptor, also from a Aoshima. Um, as everybody knows, I wouldn't say these are hard to find. You can find them on eBay, but the prices people are asking are absolutely ridiculous. Um, this one is the latest release. This is the um, this has the photo etch parts as well as the detail parts uh, interior door skin removed this kind of thing so this is a much much more accurate kit than the original releases of this kit so I lucked out and bought two of those when they were re-released I'm very glad that I did and the number one kit that like I said I didn't even have to think about it was this uh, Cobra Daytona uh, this is a multimedia kit it has photo etch it has photo etch it has brass tubing I think there's some resin in here vinyl plastic some metal parts and this as well the white metal parts um, if you can see here in this picture that chassis is metal and you actually have to cut the tubes and build and solder that chassis uh, completely from scratch 
So again, the same thing. This kit you can find it on eBay, but it is pretty expensive. Uh, I was watching this kit for about two years, hoping that the prices would at some point go down, but they never ever did. I eventually just pulled the trigger and bought it. So, um, so this is yeah, this is the number one kit in my entire stash. That uh, if I had to bring one kit, this would be the one. Uh, again, just because, well, you can hardly find a Cobra Daytona model kit for one thing, especially in this scale, 124th. Uh, but even when you can't find it, they're they're not too uh, they're not too cheap. So, so anyways, guys, that's the kits that I would save out of my stash if I had to run out because the house was on fire or something like that. Um, so uh, yeah, as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned for the next video.